Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Eddie. The last time we were together, we learned about the liturgical year and its seasons. By any chance, does anybody know what season we are in now? Ordinary time. But soon we will begin another season of our liturgical year, Lent. Lent begins this year on Wednesday, February 17th. This day is called Ash Wednesday. Most years we would gather for a mass or service at church to receive ashes. This year, Father Wayne will also be offering families the opportunity to receive ashes in a drive through service on the 17th from 3.30 to 4.30. When we receive the ashes, we receive them with the mark of a cross on our forehead. This symbol reminds us that Jesus' death on the cross brought us new life through his resurrection. So the color of Lent is purple, which is the same as the color during Advent. And like the time of Advent, it is a period of preparing our hearts. While during Advent, we prepare for Jesus' birth, during Lent, it is a time to reflect and turn our hearts to the death and resurrection of Jesus at Easter. We prepare by doing acts of goodness and kindness, by praying, and by giving when we can. As during the 40 days that Jesus spent in the desert after he was baptized, we too should use this time to refocus our minds and hearts on God. Let's talk about some things we can do during this time of Lent. In your packets that you have at home, there's these beads that are the purple beads. There's 10 of them that are to help remind us to do good things during the day. And as we do, we move each bead on the strings closer to the cross. Because as we're doing these things in Jesus' name, it brings us closer to him and his father. These also have 10 beads where you can do a rosary. And if you remember, you do 10 Hail Marys and an Our Father when you do a decade of the rosary. Also in your baskets are sheets that have 40 crosses. Each of the crosses that you color in, you color a color of either green, purple, red, or yellow. The green helps you to remember to say an extra prayer. The purple means that you helped somebody. A red cross is that you did something good that is hard for you to do. And the yellow cross is that you did something that you were supposed to do without being told. I'm sure that's something that mom and dad would really like. On the back of that sheet are some other family Lenten ideas that you guys can decide as a family or pick some for yourself or come up with some other ones that come into these categories and help color all these crosses during the time of Lent. Before Lent starts this year, there's also on the 14th, a sheet in your uh, basket about the drive through can drive where you can drop off canned goods at the St. Michael's Parish parking lot from eight to one. And we have that called Share the Love. And that is what we call giving, which is another way that we can do things during that Lenten season. Another special way to pray during Lent is to pray the Stations of the Cross. These stations are a remembrance of the steps that Jesus took on his way to his crucifixion. This year, St. Michael's will actually be having these virtually every Friday during Lent. 
and is truly a beautiful way to praise a family during the Lenten season. As the season of Lent draws to a close, we celebrate the shortest yet most holy season of the liturgical year known as the Three Days, or the Holy Triduum. These three days are a bridge to take us from the season of Lent to the season of Easter. On Holy Thursday, we remember how Jesus washed the feet of his disciples and celebrated the Last Supper. On Good Friday, we remember Jesus' death on the cross. On Holy Saturday, we are still reflecting on all that has happened to Jesus while uh, before his resurrection. On Holy Saturday, we are still reflecting on all that has happened to Jesus until Easter Sunday. On Easter Sunday, we triumphantly celebrate his resurrection, his gift of new life and new beginnings. We are blessed to have this time during the liturgical year to redirect ourselves to being the best that we can be and truly live our lives in the light of God's love. Amen. Alleluia.